chat bar on this side of the screen tonight since I had those borders. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw the chat on the screen for you guys that are watching on TV, watching off uh, YouTube later on down the road. Still want to understand the chat, participation, what's going on, still want to be involved. Uh, we got that up tonight. I hope all you guys, uh, you know, give me some good feedback on that, how you like the chat on the screen. Um, and let's see who else we got in the chat right now. Justin, what's going on? Jay Dubs, I see you, I see you. Maddie, what's going on? Bob, I see you in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good to see you guys all in there. We got Mars McCoy. How's it going? Thank you for stopping by. Maxie already dropping bits on the kid. Thank you so much, Maxie. Appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, I think that's what I needed to go over as far as uh, Twitch. If you guys have any issues, any questions, all the newcomers, um, go ahead and uh, in charge 087 in the chat. He'll help you. Um, the Hyoid and Gmo Baby, those are my mods in the chat. If something's not working, something's not going through, you can't figure something out, go ahead and, uh, and hit them up. You put the uh, at symbol and his name, and it'll go ahead and directly highlight him. Uh, Bits, Rachel, are Twitch currency. Basically, uh, I think if you have your Amazon Prime connected to your Twitch, which you can do to get a free subscribe every month, um, mine usually just takes it off whatever card's tied to my Amazon. You're basically transferring money to Twitch currency, which transfers back into real money for me uh, when donated. Um, and if you want to be included in the chat, want to uh, be able to follow, do those types of things, you got to make an account at the top uh, top of the screen up here, all the way at the top. If you don't already have an account made, you go up there, sign up real quick, no verification needed, um, log in, then you can participate in chat and uh, follow the channel if you decide to do so. Um, I see you guys all over here. You also get free bits by watching ads. Yeah, you can see this. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so tonight, quick rundown. Chicken tagine, North African dish. Made it in culinary school when I first started. One of my f absolute favorite dishes that I've ever had, to ever cooked. Um, it's unbelievable. It's a braise. For those of you guys that don't know what a braise is, uh, it's when you have your protein completely submerged underneath a liquid. In this case, we're going to be using chicken stock. Um, and then you cook it in the oven um, at a, you know, e decently high oven temperature. Tonight we're going to be doing 350, about 40 minutes total on the braise. Um, by cooking the protein in the liquid, it's going to make it extremely tender. Um, it's going to absorb all the flavor from the juices, from the pan, from all the ingredients inside the pan, all going to go, you know, shoot straight into that protein. Um, super, super delicious. That's a braise. We're doing chicken tagine braise tonight. Uh, we're going to serve that over a um, orange zest, Italian parsley chop mixed into the couscous, which is going to be the base. Uh, we're going to have a nice little loaf of garlic bread and a nice little salad on the side uh, for a family meal. So this is going to be family style. We're going to be doing it in you know big bunches. Thanks all you guys for coming out tonight. Episode three. Uh, episode two pretty much doubled the numbers from one. So let's keep pushing. Thanks for all the support, guys. And let's get this shit started. Catch up with chat a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the screen on the side. Yeah, no, it, it, it came out good. I'm, I'm kind of happy. Uh, do I accept Bitcoin? I do not accept Bitcoin. I'm sure Garrett will. Go ahead and hit up Garrett for that Bitcoin. Uh, have you eaten intestine or like organ food? Yeah, I've eaten sweetbreads, which is made out of the uh, made sweetbreads, eaten sweetbreads in culinary school, which is made out of the uh, organs of the animal. It was a cow in that case. Um, I'll send you. <laughs> oh, uh, do you get a couple new follows off stream? Go ahead and uh, uh, rate uh, Daniel Daniel Thomas six one two. Go ahead and give me a follow a couple days ago off stream. Uh, Rachel, my girl Rachel, my sister Rachel. Uh, she go ahead and gave me a follow yesterday. Thank you, uh, Kaylee. Thank you, girl, for the follow. You know I appreciate that. And Max with uh, with the five bits earlier. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, those of you who haven't tuned in before, we got the three camera angles. We got you know the big screen, your boy. We got cutting board for all the business, and then we got the uh, stove. So let's get going, guys. Let's get the ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the chicken. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the seasonings made. What we're going to do is we're going to get the seasons tossed. I'm going to give you guys some measurements for this uh, rub tonight. 
uh, you guys can go ahead and um, I do have a command exclamation recipe. If you shoot that in the chat, recipe is going to go ahead and pop up on the screen for you guys. Um, in chat, you can write that down, and then I'm going to give you measurements as I go along for this rub. Um, we're going to be using extra dark spices tonight, and with these spices, uh, when you throw them in a pan on the stove and toast them, it releases all the essential oils coming out of them, and really um, takes these spices to a whole new level. So we're going to go ahead and do that, get started, let me catch up real quick. Um, okay, hyoid, perfect went up and shot up the the recipe for you guys so there's pretty much all the ingredients that i'm gonna be using tonight um let's get started so we got our bowl gotta have that over here i'll get down on the cutting board for you guys right all right so we're gonna go ahead and get the seasonings thrown into the hole into the bowl uh we got my little my teaspoon tool sped out right here and get it off its hook all right so we're gonna start off with a table, we're gonna do uh, three and a half tablespoons of paprika. Paprika, you know, very, very, very versatile, very good. Um, I use this seasoning in, you know, 90% of my loves. Kaylee with a $20 donation, Jesus Christ. You didn't have to do that. Thank you very much, girl. I appreciate it. So we're gonna go ahead and get our. Uh, our paprika thrown in. We got one. We got two. We got three and a half. All right. So paprika is pretty much going to be the base. I mean, it, you, you got the most paprika out of anything in this dish right here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there. You've been calling me daddy. You're not adding veggies like no carrot, no squash, no eggplant. Uh, to, no, I don't. I don't throw in uh, extra veggies. If I do, I'll do a little bit of tomato, uh, possibly a little bit of cauliflower. But um, I wanted to go a little more traditional tonight. I know that there are veggies in, um, you know, one of the original recipes for this. But the way I was taught it, I really enjoyed it. Um, I do add uh, preserved lemon, which is like the main ingredient to this dish, and um, I will be adding onion, um, and. I do have some tomato in the fridge, so we'll see. Maybe we'll throw a little bit of tomato in there. But there is tomato paste in there as well. So, uh, yeah. No, we're, we got we got some good stuff coming. You know, try things a different way. See how you like it. You know, you can always expand on the recipe. Add some broccoli. Add some eggplant. Add some squash. Add whatever you want. I mean, it's going to be good. You're just enhancing flavor at that point, right? All right. So, secondly, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some garlic powder. So, I got my garlic powder. Had to buy a new one today. been using this shit up like crazy. All right, so we're going to do one teaspoon of garlic powder. Bam. Thrown in. Equal swig of a bottle. Uh, yeah, you guys trying to get me, all, get me all drunk? I think last time I took like seven shots, eight shots. What we get? Eight new subs. I think I took eight shots last time. So maybe the last ones I might have backed off a little bit on the full shot. But, you know, it still was good. It still was good. All right, so we're going to do two teaspoons of cinnamon. Got cinnamon somewhere up here, so I'm gonna get our uh, our, our couple tablespoons of cinnamon in there. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Cinnamon's super strong, um, very strong. So it's one of those spices you don't really need much to get get a lot out of it, right? So we got our uh, cinnamon thrown in there. We're gonna do three tablespoons of coriander. Coriander, super 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 strong. One of the strongest dark spices I've ever used. Very, very tasty, but you definitely can sense the presence of, of ground coriander, fresh coriander. It's not subtle at all. It's, it's pretty damn strong. So we're going to get three, three tablespoons. I just did one with a teaspoon. I just did one full tablespoon with a teaspoon. Didn't even realize it. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to my tablespoon. And three, three teaspoons of the tablespoon. All right. See you, I see you, girl. What's up, cousin? How you doing, girl? Thanks for coming by. I see you. Extra garlic always. Yeah, we know we love that garlic. Always. All right. So we got three tablespoons of coriander. We're going to go ahead and do one tablespoon and one teaspoon of ground turmeric. 
turmeric's that spice, that uh, super, super orange looking, right? Really distinct smell. I cannot, you cannot, <laughs> you know, not recognize this. If you once you smell it once, you always, you always remember what that turmeric smells like. I'll tell you that. Shit's strong. We got one tablespoon. We got one teaspoon in there, all right? There's our turmeric. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of uh, ground ginger. Now, a lot of you have had ginger, whether it's in tea, whether it's you know in some sort of Asian dish, sushi. You get raw garlic. It's a great uh, palate palate cleanser. Rabaruni. Yeah, I see you in there, Robbie. Got the whole fam bam in there. So we're gonna do one one tablespoon of, of ground ginger. All right. Now we're gonna do half a tablespoon of ground cardamom. Cardamom's not a, uh, it's not one of those ingredients that I'm super, super knowledgeable about, super comfortable with. Um, super, super strong, almost like peppery, but very, very weird, almost like, like refreshing, but like peppery. I don't even know how to, how to explain it, right? So I'm gonna do a half a tablespoon. I really only use this in this recipe. I don't ever really cook with cardamom. It's one of those spices I really need to branch out a little bit more and use. So we'll go ahead and do that. No one's shouting out the ginger. <laughs> we got a couple of you guys up in there. We got a couple of you guys up in there. All right, so we're gonna do two and a half uh, teaspoons of allspice. Where you at, baby? There we go. Switch over to the teaspoon. Allspice, super strong, super, super, super strong. One of my favorite ingredients. I did use it in the uh, apple pork chop in episode one. This was um, one of the uh, ingredients that I put on the rub of my pork chop. Pairs super well with the apples and the uh, the pork itself, right? So we got our allspice in, all right? So we got our seasons all in. I'm gonna go ahead and switch cams. We got our seasons all in here. I'm gonna take uh, one of those spoons I was just using. Just gonna mix everything up together. Make sure everything gets leveled out correctly. Now these measurements are something that I personally have been uh, playing with since I've been making and recreating the dish. So this is like the way I was taught to make it with my spice kick and adjustments on it. You know what I'm saying? All right. We got everything evenly distributed, right? So we're, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get a uh, little saute pan on the burner. We're gonna turn it up to about medium heat. And we're gonna start toasting the uh, spices up, release all them oils, get that shit real pungent. Let's get you guys over here. All right, go medium flame. Get our pot, pan down, let it get a little bit hot. The hotter the pan gets, you know, throw the spices in, the quicker they'll toast up. We're just going to toast it for a couple minutes, kind of get the, uh, you, you'll smell it. It's very, very, very fragrant, right? Just super, super pungent. Really hits you in the face. Like, you, you smell it immediately. Almost immediately. I know I'm overriding going to edit after. It's ludicrous. <laughs> Seems like a narc. Yeah, you know, Nightbot's there to protect. See how our pan's doing over here? A little hot. So let's get ahead and get our spices in there. All right, we're gonna let that go. In the meantime, we'll get the chicken out. Get that ready to go. All right. So for chicken tonight, we're using boneless skin on thighs. Already trimmed up, little time comes today after work, didn't have time to buy chicken with a bone on and trim it all up. I personally do bone off in this recipe. Um, I'm a bone in kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? But um, for this dish, I mean, it's, a, it's I want you to serve it and I want you to just eat. I don't have to worry about picking bones out of your chicken, you know what I mean? I, I want you to just eat it, so we're not even going to worry about that. First time Bobby's ever heard that. <laughs> The meat is the best part of this. Bobby gets very, very happy every time we, uh, we get the meat on there. Let's go ahead and... Alright. So, 
spices are getting uh, getting real toasty. I'm starting to smell it a little bit. What I'm gonna do is we got this pan right here. We're gonna go ahead and get our chicken out. We're gonna season up our chicken. We're gonna mark it off one by one, or not one by one, uh, group by group. Probably fit like three, four of these maybe in the pot at a time. We're gonna mark them off. Uh, we're gonna take them off once we got some good color on each side. And then all the seasoning that was on the chicken is gonna kind of stick into the pan, and that's what we're gonna start making our sauce that the chicken's gonna braising. So, so uh, get over here. Oh yeah, smell it toasting up real nice. Real, real nice. So that's done. Let that sit for a sec. What is that? We got a new follow. Viali, Viali, however I say it. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it very much. Thank you for the support. All right, so we're just gonna take our spices we got here. We go ahead and throw them back in their little bowl. Right? Woo! I mean, these things, this spice mix, really fragrant. Really, really, really fragrant. Just catch up with the chow a little bit. You heard me, bone in kind of guy. <laughs> Bobby has never finished a burrito in his life. 100% facts. 100% facts. We've done so many food eating, food eating competitions back in high school. I'll tell you what, Bobby cannot eat tacos, can't eat a burrito, can't take down a wing. All right, so these are the size of our thighs, right? Trimmed up, opened up, bone off. You know, a little bit of skin on where they where it stays. So we're gonna get these out. Eh, it's not as much skin as as I was hoping on these bad boys. Actually, it looks like they took a good amount of it off. I asked for skin on. Well, it's a little bit. That's all right. Either way, it's coming out real, real good. I did, uh, we got we got eight of these thighs tonight. We got five of us here. We're going to be eating good. You know, a little bit extra for everyone. Give me the Rico Bosco scoops, Bob. Are you drinking protein? No, Matt, I'm not drinking protein. I'm drinking a monster inside of my Twitch cup because I am exhausted. Shuffling around all day. Get everything together. And I still forgot to get the music for tonight. So next week's episode... We'll have the music on, promise. All right, chickens, uh, chickens out. We're gonna go ahead and get these all seasoned up real quick. Let me go ahead and wash my hands. Chickens, uh, one of those things. You know what I'm saying? Poultry, one of those things you do not want to mess around with. Always wash your hands. Always make sure you're not cross contaminating. You will get sick. It's not like raw red meat or fish, you know what I'm saying? Poultry's, you will get sick, so be careful. Make sure you're, you're, you're following the proper sanitations. Sponsorship coming soon. Yeah, you know, maybe one day, baby, maybe one day. All right, guys, so, you know, got to keep the chicken moist. Go ahead. Get some olive oil on these babies. Just a little bit of oil. Some extra virgin olive oil. My favorite, my favorite kind of extra virgin olive oil. Star uh, stuff's great. Really, really great. Use it for pretty much everything. All right. So we got our chicken. A little oil on the chicken. All right. So we're gonna take our spice rub, guys. All right. All toasty, nice and toasty. I'm gonna use a spoon. All right. Take a shot. Come on. Drew should make meatballs. <laughs> We can do some meatballs one night. He's probably still hung over from Tuesday. Oh Lord, you guys had me taking shots all night. We'll, we'll, tonight we'll do two two to three subs in a row. We'll take some shots. We'll start off with two and we'll go from there. We get two subs in a row, we'll start taking some shots. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of our uh, a rub to the chicken. Start sprinkling it on there, you know, a little bit. Gentle. You don't need too much of this rub to, to make a point with this chicken, let me tell you. Stuff. Stuff strong. Real, real strong. We just got a new follow. Jill McGahey. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it very much. Extra virgin like Andrew. Shit. 
I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start rubbing the, uh, the, the seasoning in. Spread it along the chicken. Make sure I get, you know, most of it pretty covered up. It's, like I said, very, very strong rub. You don't need too much of it, but you still want to make uh, make the chicken pretty, pretty covered with it. So, the rub on there. All right. So, we're applying the rub to one side. We're gonna go ahead and give it a flip and do the other side in a second. On the last one right here. Mr. Peckle Peckle, what's going on, Alec? How you doing, baby? Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. I care less if you're late. It's just you being here and supporting is all that matters, brother. Thank you very much. Now that I actually know who you are. All right, so we got our chicken flipped over, guys. I'm going to go ahead, toss a little bit more oil on those babies, like I did the other side. you got to stay consistent. got to stay, uh, if I don't stay consistent, then one side's going to have a lot of flavor and the other's not. It's not going to be right. Oh, here we go. Jill McGahey, 69. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Chris McCoy coming in with the Twitch Prime, baby. Well, you guys got your two subs, so I guess we're taking a shot. Uh, you guys. You guys. Wash the hands up. I'm going to be, be on constant sanitation, guys. Constant sanitation. I'm here to teach you the ways. All right. Thank you for the subs. We're doing two right now for a shot. Two, maybe two more in a row. We'll do one more, and then after that, it's gonna be three shot, three, three sub train in a row, and then we'll take shots. Cause y'all are distracting the shit out of me with this. Puta. All right. So back to the chicken. We got our oil dispersed over. We're going to go ahead and get the other side seasoned up. All right. Once we get some more emotes, guys, first emotes coming for all my subs. It's a little Chef Drew emote. I'm excited for you guys to see it once it's done pending and gets accepted. Uh, if we make, you know, we get to the point where we make partner and we uh, unlock some more emotes, best believe there will be a JMO shot emote that you guys will be spamming when when the shots are happening. You can damn well believe that. We will have the whole chat fucking putting up JMOs. Sorry for my cursing. Kinda just comes out naturally. I told my mom I wouldn't cuss that much tonight, but you know me, you know how dirty my mouth is, so I do apologize to the younger viewers out there. My bad. All right. Just make sure it's uh, everything's even. Looking good, looking good. All right. <laughs> Sub so worth it. Jill. Oh, Sammy. That's what I figured. I knew. I knew it was. I could tell by the name. I could tell by the name. <laughs> Sorry, Suze. I love it, Alex. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna get the heat going on the stove for the for the chicken. Wait a second. What am I thinking? Uh, no, I need. Okay, never mind. I need the pot. I need the pot. I forgot. I gotta. I gotta make the sauce in the pot. I was thinking I could uh, just do it on my big, you know, flat top skillet. Um, but I, I want all the spices and the juices and the, the chicken and everything to go in the sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. If you don't take a shot from my tip, then you owe me a shot. <laughs> oh man, you want a shot for that tip? Twenty dollar tip though. That's pretty worth it. In charge, Rachel, is Max, my cousin Maxie. He's uh, my main mod. Him, Gmo, Hyoid. They're there to help. Here to entertain. Drew cooking and matchmaking. You know it, baby. All right. Let's 
So the goal of this is you want to get the chicken going. You want to get the chicken in the oven. It is going to be a little cooking process. Luckily, we got some other goodies to go through while we're going to have the chicken going. So, uh, yeah, first and foremost, when you guys are doing this at home, uh, this is like the first thing you're going to do. You want to get this in the oven. You, you want to really get this in the oven. So this is going to be a speedy process. But tonight, since I'm going over it with you guys, you know, it's going to take a little longer than normal. Usually, I don't probably already have this whole thing going by now. But we're here. We're chopping it up. We're having a good time, guys. Appreciate it. Rye Rye, what's up baby? I see you in there. All right, pan's getting hot guys. Like I said last time, hot pan, hot oil. Then we throw the chicken down. So we're gonna get our oil in the pan. Make sure we got enough to coat the bottom. Chicken is gonna, you know, immediately absorb it a little bit. So we're gonna make sure we got just enough in the pot. Looks like we got a nice coating. I'm gonna move it. Let the oil heat up real quick. Canepa cutting board must be the yep. Yeah, the new addition. Normally it's up on my uh, my shelf, but got the Canepa cutting board. My pop sent to me. It's one of my favorite things I got. It's pretty cool. So I put it up for you guys to see. Oh, what do we got here? Knock eleven is followed. Thank you very much for the follow, Knock eleven. Appreciate it. Um, I'm not sure if I know you personally or not, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, back to the uh, cooking, eh? So we're going to go ahead and throw some of these thighs down, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to get four in there. We're going to get four in there. I'm with it. I'm with it. Threw it on, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt on there. Always gotta season your food, always. Wash the uh, raw chicken off my hand. I'm gonna say it all night. Rai Rai, see you baby. How you doing man? Hope you and Alexia are doing well. Hope Cheeto doesn't chew up the, uh, the cord while you're watching. <laughs> Daisy appearance. Yeah, I can get Daisy on here for you guys. We had an idea of doing like a little Daisy can. Uh, Larry ain't joining us tonight guys. My dad, he texted me earlier. He's going to be watching on the YouTube. Uh, he's got a rehearsal for a uh, uh, event that his, his band has a show tomorrow night. So they're doing a rehearsal tonight. So. You know, priorities, priorities, no big deal. Shit, I want to see the dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, Rachie. <laughs> All right, chicken's going. There you go ahead and let them, let them go. Get some nice color on those babies, eh? Looking good. We're gonna add some color on those. Chop it up with the chat real quick. I'll send her out. You wanna see? <laughs> good luck. Yeah, I'll tell him you said good luck, man. That chicken looks so damn good. Well, you also can smell it from the other room, brother, so. You're looking good. So let that chicken go. Turn the fan up a little bit. Smells delicious. When you smell the, the seasonings come off this chicken, oh my gosh, man, it's amazing. You want to eat it raw? <laughs> yeah, chicken tartare. Do not, do not ever do that. I'm sorry. Do not ever do that. It's disgusting. But uh, yeah, you know, we were thinking about getting a little daisy cam set up uh, off the side of the island over here. Get another camera. Maybe later on down the road after we get a little month. Um, We'll go ahead and get a little daisy can so I can call her over, make her, have her do like a little thing for you guys, give her a treat, and then send her on her way. Uh, Dozer Balls 88. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate or for the follow. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Almost said sub. It was a follow. You wish you could smell. Maybe one day you could smell shit through the internet. Maybe. Back to the chicken. Okay. We're looking for some good color, good crust on these babies. Mm 
starting to get there. So when you braise, when you braise, you always, 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 always want to make sure that you get a really, really, really solid crust on the uh, on the protein, right? Because what's going to happen is the protein is going to um, be sitting in submerged in liquid, and it tends to get pretty soft and almost like mushy, especially if you have like a lot of skin on your protein. So you want to make sure to get super, 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 super nice crust on there. Even if it seems like a little too much, you got to think it's going to be submerged in moisture and it's going to, you know, be toned up down a little bit. So you want to get a lot, a lot, a lot of crust on there. Uh, Holly Berry, what's up girl? How you feeling Holly? Hope you're feeling better. Thanks for stopping by. Hope the girls are with you too watching. If so, what's up Phoenix? What's up Aria? Miss you girls. Uh, Gmo clip the sneeze. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that sneeze was epic last week. All right, let's check in on the chicken. Oh yeah, we're getting a little crust. We're getting a nice crust on there. See it developing. Yep. So you gotta you, you gotta play with the heat. You know, you know, like, you know some crazy tip be like oh make sure it's on this amount of heat no you gotta play with it everyone's oven's different everyone's stove different you gotta play with the temperature i tend to go up and down a little bit uh, the crust is starting so i did crank it down just a little bit let them go they're almost ready to be flipped we got a sub to we to we to we to we thank you very much for the subscription not quite sure who you are uh if you want to go ahead and say who you are That'd be cool. If not, regardless, thank you very much for the support. Uh, I heard a Jameson. No, it's two subs. In a, after two subs, we take a shot. And then it's going to three. You, you fill up the animals. Oh, yeah, baby. So now we're getting a crust on these. Yeah. We might even go a little bit longer. Just a little bit more than normal. Because, like I said, it's going to be under, under and it's going to soften up. So want to make sure that crust is good. Looking good, guys. Looking good. I'm going to go ahead and get a sheet ready to put these babies on while they rest. Get ready for the next batch to go. Alright. Got to throw them on there. Let them sit while they... Uh, Get the next batch on there, and then we're gonna get the sauce going, and then we're gonna put the chicken back in and throw it in the oven. Oh, looks like we are out of foil. All right, no more foil. We're gonna go ahead and get some parchment paper, which is like my second most used thing in the kitchen. All right, flipping these bad boys. See the color on there, right? Nice crust. Oh yeah. There we go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that color right there. That's what we're talking about right there. That crust, that hard sear. You see the seasonings in the bottom of the pan. We still got our fat in there. Without that fat, that browning process is not going to happen. So we want that caramelization. We want that coagulation. Looking good. We get another sub in the house. Hyoid gifted a sub to Mr. Peco Peco. Hyoid, thank you very much for gifting a sub to my boy Alec. Yes, that does qualify for the second sub. Thank you guys. Yes, for taking another shot. Next one's three subs. We gotta keep we gotta keep our focus here. Getting there. Coagulation. <laughs> Oh, Rachie. Where's your dog, Justin? Ricky's in the house? <laughs> What's going on, Ricky? Alright, let's go ahead and check in on the chicken. Alright. Gonna get a little more color on that side. Just a little bit. 
That side doesn't need as much as the other. Other sides where all the fat, all the skin was, that's what we wanted to get nice and crispy. The fat gets super crispy. So those are about to get taken off in a second. Uh, we're gonna throw the other batch on, and then we're gonna get the sauce going, guys. So like I said, because I was done with my foil, I do use parchment paper. Uh, legit, you can even put this stuff in the oven. It's like wax paper, pretty much. It's another nice, you know, little thing to buy. Helps keep things clean when you're not trying to get it all dirty. All right, chicken's going. Really nice color on these bad boys. Get you guys in on this. See, again, good color. All right. All right, so we're gonna take these out. Right, chicken's up. We got our remaining fat in the pan. We're gonna go ahead or lay the rest of the chicken down real quick. Fat side down, skin side down. Whatever you got on there, more of. In this case, it's a little bit of skin, a little bit of fat, doing the job. All right, so we got the. Those laid down for you guys in a nice little pot of oil that's still going. There is residual seasoning in the pan, which is also going to help flavor these babies. Catch up with the chat real quick. Someone enforce the shots. <laughs> He's busy. Matt, I see he takes shots and it's not impressive either. I love it. I love it. Suzanne, you're good at forcing alcohol. That's true. Anyone that's going to Lake Town knows that. Dan Dog, what's going on? G, thanks for stopping by. Big Dog Dan, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> get cleaned up. Got to keep sanitized, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to get sick of me saying that, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to enforce it. We're going to clean as we go a little bit. The dishes after this screams are outrageous. Alright. And no, I do not have a dishwasher. I wash every single dish that I use during these by hand. It is not fun. <laughs> the creamsicle shots? Oh yeah. Everyone knows about those. Alright, let's check on the chicken. Alright. Looking good. Good start. Oh yeah. So I like to see, baby. We'll go ahead and let these babies go a little bit longer. So coming up, we got chicken going. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna throw, get our onions going, which we're gonna chop up in a second. Uh, we're gonna get those in the pan, sweat it up with some garlic that I'm about to chop up. Once those things get going, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go a little bit of tomato paste in there, a little bit of chicken stock. We're going to let that reduce down just a bit. And then we're going to get the chicken thrown back in there with a little bit of fresh thyme. Pop that baby in the oven and let it go and then we're going to move on. Cleaning. You got to clean up, baby. No dishwasher. You know, it is what it is. All tips will go towards the dishwasher. Hey, not a bad idea, huh? Amazon Prime stuff didn't show up. I got... What's Ricky's name? What's the advantage of cooking in a pan like that opposed to a regular skillet? Um, what do you what do you mean by skillet? Are we talking like a cast iron skillet or what? Where's my onion at? Oh, we got onion right here. Get these onions chopped up. Sometimes you gotta refresh if you sub if it doesn't go off. And then it will go off. Dozer balls, what's going on, brother? Putting this one out there. Let's go up the hill. <laughs> uh, the fall, you know, an old tail. 
All right, so let's get this onion going. Chicken's about to get flipped in a minute. I can just smell it. You know what I'm saying? I got, I'm at that point where I can just smell it. Knock onion is the realest reason we smell a vision. <laughs> you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be crying from onions like I am. All right, chicken's looking good. Got a nice, got a nice crust on that side. Oh yeah. Alright. Oh man, I wish you I wish you guys could smell this right now. I wish you could smell it. Unbelievable. It smells real good. Real, real good. We're gonna let that chicken go. We're gonna get this onion chopped up for you guys. Talking about Teflon pan. <laughs> Is that Teflon? Well if you're talking about Teflon, you know they're non-stick, that's all good. You know, I can't go wrong with some non-sticks, but um I, I prefer stainless steel, no scratching. Teflon, if you scratch it up, it has some like leaking ingredient on that thing that like causes cancer or something. So like, why even risk it, right? So I always stick with stainless steel, easy to clean, um, contracts a lot of heat, really, really nice, right? A lot of heat and uh, very durable. You know what I mean? Three like solid reasons to have them. So I did slice sideways into the oven. Uh, I'm gonna keep them, you know, decent sized mint since this is a braise. I want a lot of the, uh, a lot of the flavor out of it. The smaller you you cut things up, the less flavor you're gonna get out of it. So we're just gonna do like a nice, you know, nice small medium-ish dice on these bad boy. Um, not so concerned with how small they are. I want them a little bigger than than how I'd normally dice up an onion. A lot more flavor out of it, right? Flip it over. Little shortcut slices, right? All right, so we got our onion diced up. We got half an onion. We're gonna do a full onion. We got a lot of chicken, you know what I'm saying? Check our chicken. Sear it up on the other side, looking good, looking good. Oh yeah. We're looking good. Chicken's just about to get thrown off, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the sauce. Coming out real nice. Uh, check in. Did he even say oven? Haters. <laughs> Looks like Bollywood. What brand pots do I have? These right here, these babies, Quizzen Art. Solid sets online. Not too expensive. Got like an AP set for like 125. Really, really, really solid. I got the pot, the steamer, the smaller pot. Taller saute, the regular saute, small saute, uh, and then the big, you know, the big boiling pot. So, solid. Knife cuts through things way too easily. Yeah, this is a sharp ass knife. Really, really sharp. Alright, chicken's almost there. Let's get the other half of this onion sliced up real quick for you guys. Honestly, this knife will be sharper in a second after I hone it. Honing it basically just straightens the uh, straightens out the edges of the blade, makes it keeps it consistent, keeps it as sharp as you're gonna have until you get it sharpened again. All right, full onion diced up, one sweet yellow onion, nice. Go ahead and hold this baby up real quick. Alright. Got our onion done. We're going to get some garlic going. We're going to check on this chicken. Pot and pan's addict. You know. <laughs> I love the camera angles. Thank you, G. Alright. Chicken looking good. Got some nice color, right? On both sides looking good. We're going to go ahead and take these off. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a little bit of fat out of the pan. All right, there's a little bit too much oil that I need right now. So 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this fat out of this pan, all right? Um, don't, don't pour your fat down the sink. It uh, solidifies the colder it gets, and that's how you clog your pipes, by putting oil and butter and shit down your drain. So don't do that. What I do is I dedicate like a little ramekin, a little bowl or something, and I just pour my fat into that, let it cool, end of the night, go dump it. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you, don't, you don't need to do that. Don't mess up your sink. We'll get it all jacked up. So I'm put the ramekin in here. I'm just going to get a little bit of this fat out into that ramekin. Now, by using a ramekin like that, if I need more fat once I throw my onion in there, then I can, you know, I have it saved. I can throw it back in. The look of this oil is unbelievable. Look at this oil from all the seasonings and everything. I mean, this is like a flavorful oil. Chicken and then all those spices. I mean, it is some good stuff. So it's good to have in reserve. Really, really good. Email Quizenart. <laughs> all right, so we got, our, we got our fat in the pan. All right, all this goodies right here at the bottom, we call that sook. All right, all that buildup right there, that's all flavor. That's all delicious flavor that's going straight into this sauce. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put it on about medium heat. We're going to take our onion. We're going to throw this in there. All right. Now look at the color of the onion, right? Just from being in the pot for a second, completely transformed the color of the onion, all right? We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take some salt. And like I said before, salt draws the moisture out of things, draws the moisture out of the onions, lets them help get translucent a little bit faster. All right, let those babies cook down for a sec. Grab the garlic. Go ahead and get some garlic in there. We don't need to do that until right before because garlic tends to cook super quick. So um, we're going to get the garlic in there last minute, kind of let the oils release, saute it down just for a second, and then we're going to go ahead and get our liquids in there. Um, once we get our liquids in there, then you know the, the all the caramelizing, all the coagulation, all the browning, everything that's going on, that's instantly going to stop once you add some moisture. It just, you know... It starts steaming, so. Or if it's completely submerged, it starts braising. It starts adding and mixing flavor. I did about, what, two, one decent size and three medium sized garlic cloves. Uh, we're just gonna mince it down a little bit, get it pretty even. Get it nice and rough chopped, nothing crazy. I love garlic, I love the flavor of garlic. I don't mind if it's, you know, in the bite. That's kind of the point. All strong spices in this dish, so, you know, gotta keep it going. Garlic, yeah, you know how they say it. Shanane's in the, in, the, in the house, I see you girl. Thanks for stopping by. What's going on, Shanon? All right, so garlic's looking good. All right, we're gonna pan over to the onion. Onion's cooking real, real nice. Now it's important that you don't burn the bottom of your seasonings. I have it on like medium heat right now. You don't want that soak in the bottom to burn. You want it to stay warm because once you get that liquid in there, you can release it all with a scraper. So that's what we're gonna do. So our onions are looking good. We're gonna throw our garlic in there. All right. We got onions and garlic going in the pan. All that good, good, good garlic. All right. Yeah, everyone loves garlic. I hear you. Sh I hear you, uh, Holly. All right. So we're gonna let the garlic go for a minute. As far as the chicken goes, guys, we got some beautiful, 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 where am I at, cutting board? Beautiful pieces of chicken sitting out, crusted up real good, right? Not fully cooked, but just enough to uh, 
Get ready to go into the braise. All right, garlic's getting cooked. Onions are sauteed down. Now just the moisture in the pan from, from the onions and everything that got like the, the liquid that got released from sweating them out was enough to scrape the soot off the bottom as you guys can see, right? There's no more, right? I, I, I completely scraped it off and now I'm mixing it in with the onion. Completely mixing it in. We'll get a new sub. Lady City coming through with the with the prime sub. Appreciate it very much, Maddie. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support from all you guys. Seriously, the subs coming in like it's outrageous. We're already up to 25 subs. I, I can't even believe it, guys. Like seriously, it's it's unbelievable. You guys are seriously amazing. All right. So we got the onions and garlic going. Now what we're gonna do next is. I like to add a little tomato paste. It adds a nice concentrated tomato flavor to my uh, to my sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I got you know a little basic little can of tomato paste. Already got it open. Didn't want to spend an hour trying to get it open on a stupid thing. So I'm about I'm gonna do like let's see, do like eh, about a tablespoon, right? So like a good hefty chunk of tomato paste in there, solid tablespoon. Alright. Now I think it's important to let your tomato paste kind of cook out. So I, what I do is I spread it around. I'm going to spread it in. Kind of cook it down a little bit. Let it kind of spread out into all the, the veggies and the garlic and the onion. Okay. Cook that out. Kind of gets that weird, weird like candy, can kind of flavor, smellish out of it. Gets it back to its tomato goodness. Right. So you got that all mixed up. So what we're gonna do next is turn the heat up. We go ahead and take some chicken stock. We get another. Uh, we got a follow. We got Dan following the channel. Thank you very much for the follow, Dan. So we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken stock. Straight into the pan. Now, let that kind of mix. All right. So we got our our, our sauce going. I'm gonna add a little bit more stock because, like I said, a braise the cover needs to be com the chicken needs to be completely submerged and covered. Um. We got eight pieces of chicken, you know, four fit down pretty quick. So we're gonna fill this baby up, you know, just about a little bit over half. Okay, going like a little bit over half. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it get hot and we're gonna let, once it comes to a boil and starts to reduce, we're gonna let it reduce just a little bit to concentrate that flavor of the, of the sauce. And then once it's reduced just down a little bit, we're gonna throw the chicken in. Throw it in the oven. Get it going. Put this down. So the, the sauce is just getting ready to go. Chop it up with the chat real quick. Season's greetings from Austin and Dina. Jolly Roger. Austin, Dina, thanks for stopping by. Glad you guys came by. Miss you guys. Been a long time. Thank you so much, guys. Chicken stock shot. <laughs> Can we order delivery? Invite text must not have gone through. Yeah, Matt. Sorry. Love you. You get the next one, baby. Bob, bad friend. I kicked you out, out of it, Matt. Yeah, Alyssa and Nate and uh, Sammy beat you to it. You know, good friends. What can I tell you? My life is in shambles. Is that sweet, sweet Austin? It is sweet, sweet Austin from the house. Look at the color of this. Like, that, that color is strictly all from the seasonings. All from the cook down of everything, the chicken. I mean, like, this sauce alone would make a delicious soup. It would make a really good soup just based on the fact that there's all that chicken flavor already in there. 
Got some veggies translucent, cooked up inside. Got some garlic in there, super pungent. Uh, we are gonna throw some fresh thyme in there in a second. Just wait for that boil to get going. Eh, we'll just do it right now. One of my favorite ingredients, fresh thyme. Can never go wrong with some fresh thyme. If I had some dry bay leaves, I'd go ahead and throw that in there. Unfortunately, I think I'm out. I was searching for it before the stream when I was setting up. So, you know, that'll be on the shopping list for next time. So I'm just going to throw like a, you know, an easy pinch in there some thyme. Let that flavor kind of go. Adds a really great, earthy, deep, you know, floral flavor to the dish. Really good. One of my favorites. So what we got left, right, we're going to get, once this baby gets going, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get the chicken thrown back in there, we're going to throw it in the oven, we're going to get that braising, and while it's braising, we are going to prepare the couscous. Uh, the couscous is going to be an orange zest, Italian, fine uh, chopped Italian parsley tossed couscous with a little bit of butter, all right, that's going to be the base, I'm going to put the chicken on top, pour the sauce on top. Um, and then on the side, we're going to do a little bit of garlic bread because I know my boys in there need them carb loads. So we're going to get some bread and then we got a nice little side salad to go with it. This, you know, the star, star theme of the night is this chicken tagine. The side you do with it, honestly, you can do whatever you want. But the tagine is the main dish, the main focus. And that's what I want you guys to get at. The sides, not so much. No problem. Smells good. Oh, you smell that all the way from there, Austin? Gets me every time. But I'm Funny joke, funny joke. I love it, Austin. Coming in with them jokes. Dina, Austin, I miss you guys a lot. Andrew, if we do a shot, shut Matt up. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a shot from Matt. Shut him up. Even mom's, mom's, mom says to drink. You know, we're drinking. Cheers. Dina, Austin, cheers. Suddenly it went from a cooking stream to a drinking stream. All right, you see, we're starting to get some bubbles. Good news, starting to get them bubbles. It's what we wanted. Let's get them going. Now we're gonna need a bunch of garlic for the garlic bread. I buy, uh, I cheat. I get these peeled cloves already. It just makes life so much easier. I have no problem getting, you know, heads of garlic, peeling and chopping, whatever. But, you know, why not skip a step? Make it life a lot easier. So we're going to get a lot of garlic chopped up. Get that ready for the garlic bread. Just let it chill. We need to get some orange zest ready for the, uh, the couscous, along with Italian parsley. I actually have this really cool thing I was given as a gift. It's called a, a rub away. You know what I'm saying? Rub it away. Uh, this right here, you, you, you touch something strong like garlic or ginger. For some reason, you rub your hands on this underwater and it takes the smell away completely. I don't know how, what, what it is. It's pretty amazing. It's made by Amco Houseworks. Thing's pretty cool. Helps get the stink off you. His ears are getting red. He's getting tipsy. The king. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm good. I'm good. Austin, are you streaming after this? Night, Drew. Got an early flight. Looks bomb. Love you, Rai Rai. Thank you. It'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Talk to you later, baby. Bye, Rai. Bad friends not even gonna watch this whole stream. Cool, dude. <laughs> I just heard Garrett laugh from the other room. That's just funny. All right. So, sauce is starting to reduce down, guys, as you can see. So we're gonna let it reduce just a little bit, concentrate that flavor, like I said. Let you guys have a nice little view of that for a minute while I get started on this garlic. <laughs> you guys seriously crack me up. Rachi, I'm really glad that you're in chat tonight, chopping it up with everybody, I miss you so much. Happy that you uh, found your place. I still need to look at the pictures. Uh, you sent me after work, but I just been I was running around getting everything done after work, so It's been a minute 
Um, I am going to add the most important ingredient in a second. I was just waiting to get there till it started to reduce. Um, I throw them in right before the cooking process. So you don't need to, you know, completely saturate them and get them all, uh, get them all cooked down yet. Um, but the main part of this dish, guys, is um, an ingredient called preserved lemons. Now, preserved lemons are basically pickled lemons. I'll get to that sub in one sec. Um, basically, you take your lemons, you cut, you make a slice on the side, you disperse them in water and salt. And over the course of, uh, you could actually soak them in hot, lukewarm water if you want the peels to soften up if they seem like hard lemons uh, days prior. Um, but you basically disperse them and you're pickling them. You can put some other pickle spices in there and everything. And um, what they're going to do is they're going to draw all the sweetness out. And you can basically eat the lemon peel like candy. It's unbelievable. It's a main part of the dish. It adds so much flavor and so much sweetness. That's what this dish is all about. Uh, Mercules coming through with a Twitch Prime. J-Town, thank you, baby. Appreciate that very much. Um, we already got some... Man, Nightbot's jumping on you guys tonight. I don't know what you're all saying, but Nightbot is not having it with you guys. All right. For the garlic bread. Let's get our garlic finely minced. Remember, I always change directions because you want to hit the, the garlic at every angle. Got to hit the mangles, boy. All right, so we got our garlic. We're going to set that aside. All right. All right, let's get the knife cleaned off, get the hands cleaned off. Looks like it's reducing nice. A little reduction, just concentrate some of all that all that flavor in there. We're gonna later reduce the sauce down at the end, and um, and basically once you reduce it down, it'll help thicken it up a little bit, and then that's gonna get poured over the chicken. So it's gonna be amazing. You can buy those lemons at your local Trader Joe's. Yo, dog, I called Trader Joe's. They don't have preserved lemons. I called earlier. They said they don't sell preserved lemons. If you have Amazon Prime, you can sell for free. Like Matt said, if you guys have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch Prime, which then you get a free subscription every month. Drop it on your boy, you know, if you're feeling it. So I'm going to grab my preserved lemons, guys. I did it myself. They may not be all the way, but they're good enough for me, for this dish. So I'm going to take my lemon out. Go! Okay. I'm going to wash it off. It does have salt on it. Kind of wash the salt out of it. I don't need any more, uh, any more salt added to this, and I'm already going to add it. So I'm going to slice this up. Really tender. Really, really tender. Look who it is. Hey, come here. Come here. Come up. Come up. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Good girl. All right, let me wash my hands. All right, so we got our lemons. Our, ha our you know, they're not like fully preserved lemons, but they're going to do fine for the dish. It's been a couple days. All right, so I do one lemon. Um, since these aren't like super, super preserved, I normally do two lemons in this, but... I'm going to go ahead and just do one lemon tonight because you're going to get more than enough lemon out, lemon flavor out of this. I mean, lemons are super pungent, as you know. Ricky said, yes, they do. Well, I called earlier, so whoever answered the phone there, they're fired. Sammy D coming in with a Twitch Prime, baby. Appreciate it, Sammy. Thank you very, 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 very much. Appreciate it. Uh-oh. Awesome's getting timed out. Daisy? Yeah, that was Daisy Girl. There's your little Daisy sneak peek. She's still kind of tripped out. You know, all the people here, me talking to a camera. She's like, what is going on? All right, guys. So let's switch back over here. Here's our sauce going. Nice and concentrated. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our chicken back in the sauce. We're going to throw it in the oven. Let it braise. Let it go. Let's get back going. 
Where are my tongs at? There we go. All right. So chicken going in. Winter, winter chicken dinner. Chicken in. Almost got it all in there. Right. See how they're completely, pretty much submerged under the water. It's okay if they poke up a little bit. No biggie. Should be the perfect amount of liquid. Because I said so. Cool. All right. We got these little chicken bits in there. Can't forget about those. Little pieces of skin. Little, just, you know, more flavor. More flavor. All right, guys. So we got chicken in. We're gonna do is we're gonna let that come back to a boil. Once that comes to a boil, we're gonna top it off. I got a top for this bad boy, and we're gonna throw it in the oven, let it go. Gonna clean as I go. Get these big things out of the way real quick. We'll put you back on that chicken game. Real, one sec, guys. Let me just go ahead and clean this off real quick. You guys can take a peek at that nice, nice cheek on. Alright. When I can get the big pans like that squared away and kind of out of the way like that, it makes life a lot easier, man. Always clean as you go. Let's catch up real quick. Uh, Maxie, thanks for popping up the, uh, the links for the Twitter and the YouTube. You guys go ahead and give a uh, subscription. Go ahead and get subscribe for free to the YouTube. Uh, when you do that, you'll get weekly updates, uh, or it'll be twice a week, actually, of when I upload the, the videos. I found a way quicker method, a way faster and general method of getting these babies up. So they'll probably be up tonight by the time I get to bed, to be honest. Um, have it on YouTube in case you can't watch it all, in case you missed, you know, it's going to be twice a week, so I know you guys aren't going to be able to tune in every week, um, you know, life happens, so that'll be there, go ahead and give it a follow, give it a like, um, follow me on Twitter, always doing updates, always posting pictures of things I'm cooking on my days off, even if I'm not on stream, uh, so yeah, appreciate it very much, and yes, the command for recipe tonight is exclamation recipe, it's going to give you the whole recipe, guys, mazel. All right, chicken's looking good. Let's get this baby in the oven. Let me find a top for this. Uh, not sure, nope. All right. I think I got the right one. That I did, perfect. We go ahead, we get the oven at 355. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put that in the oven, I'm gonna let it go for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take it out, and I'm gonna throw some, some green olives in there. Adds a delicious, delicious flavor. Um, I don't put them in right away, because I like them to still be kinda tender by the time it's done. I don't like them like super soggy. So when those get out, we're gonna go ahead and throw some, some green olives in there. Nice little addition, nice saltiness, helps flavor the dish and just brings everything together really like really, really well. All right, so now that we got the chicken in the oven, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get our garlic bread prepared, right? Butter, garlic, some dry Italian parsley, some Italian seasoning, get that ready to go in the oven at the end. Um, we're going to get our couscous going right now. We're going to get the water from the couscous to a boil. We're going to get our couscous in there. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We're going to get our parsley and our orange zest ready to go into the couscous with some butter. And then we'll get our salad. I have some really basic salad. Just throwing a couple of little of my favorite things to add to a salad in there. And we're going to be ready to rock, guys. So, All right, first and foremost, let's get the, uh, let's get the couscous go rolling. Couscous is cool. Um, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to fire it off, I'm going to get it cooked, I'm going to let it sit out under a towel, come to temperature and just kind of sit there. And then before I'm done, I'm going to throw it in the oven and I'm going to kind of let it toast up real quick while everything else is getting ready to plate up. And then it's going to kind of add like a nice little, you know, texture to it after sitting there and steaming. Um, and then we'll, yeah, so it'll be ready to go. So we're just going to get that going real quick, let's chop it up real quick. 
<laughs> NFC Championship with me? I love it, baby. I love it. I'll be watching it, too. I got a TV right over there. It's a date. Do you do it, Drew? Do I do what? Felt like a Black Mirror episode getting locked out? Locked out of what? I hope you set up if you get a free meal. I mean, anytime you guys want to come by and taste the food, we can schedule an episode where you guys can be a taster. That's no big deal. No big deal. Knock. What would Knock say? I don't even see it. Tajine. It's spelled wrong. It's a chicken dish with spices. Felt wrong. I don't think so. I think like the traditional African way of spelling it's got a J, but the way that I do it, it's with a G. I think you can do both. Um, <laughs> like the stuff they put on their fruit. Oh my God. All right, let's get that going. Let's get some zest, and some orange zest ready, guys. I got my micro plan that I used last week. These things are super, super sharp. Um, Never rub up on them. It, it, it'll slice you up like nothing. So those are super, super sharp. So since this is like such a floral, like zesty, like acidic, you know, tangy dish, I'm gonna go ahead and add some orange zest into the couscous because it's gonna pair very, very good with the sauce, with the chicken. It's gonna be awesome. It's named after the pot, just a clay pot. Look up chicken tagine, it brings up a bunch of recipes. Exactly, not, it's it's spelled both ways. I think the traditional North African way of spelling it's with the J, tagine is fine, either or. It shows up either way, like I said, relax. <laughs> Don't give away Garrett's job, I love it. All right, we're gonna get our zest going. Like I said, you're just gonna, you know, go until the to the rind, and then you're gonna rotate, just like we did last time for the lemon and the lime. Now zest is super super strong, so you don't need a crazy amount of it. Um, I'm just gonna shave a bunch, and then you know we'll add it into flavor, see how it goes. Get to the rind, flip it over. Once you get that rind in there, like I said last time, guys, it gets starts to get super, super bitter. Um, so don't, yeah, try to avoid that because it's very off taste, you know what I mean? It makes your jaw clench. What up, Dad? You ended up making it in. Awesome. Hope you get hit by a truck, Nightbot. <laughs> I'll keep getting tagged. Thanks for stopping by, Dad. Hope the rehearsal went well. Everyone was asking about you. All right, so we got our zest. Should be, should be more than enough, honestly, for how for how pungent this stuff is. That's all we need. So we're just gonna set that to the side. Uh, you can always, always, always save your. You know, I'm gonna eat this later. Don't throw it away just because you zested it. So for the couscous measurement, by the way, for the water, um, for every cup of couscous, I do a cup and a half of water. So I'm doing two cups of couscous, so I did three cups of water. That's coming to a boil right now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my couscous. <laughs> Don't get bid. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna measure out my my two cups of the couscous. I got tricolored couscous. I've never actually used it before. I thought it'd look really good with the dish based on the color of everything else. It's got like a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, all sorts of goodies in there. So there's one cup that I'm gonna go ahead and toss in there, guys. Okay. One. Two. Okay, couscous is in. What I'm gonna let it do is I'm gonna let it, it, it's pretty much there, all right? Pretty much all the way there. What I'm gonna let it do is I'm gonna come to a really hard boil, I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes, 
Then I'm going to drain it, and I'm going to put it in a bowl, cover it, and just let it steam. Be perfect. absorbed all the water up which is perfect what I wanted all right so I do I grab a bowl come over here for you guys I'm gonna dump the couscous in the bowl I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the rest of this out okay we're just gonna let it steam itself so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover this bowl up real quick, leave it over here, uh, we got a towel, yeah. Alright, I got a towel over the couscous, we're going to let it steam, 5 minutes, so 8.28, we're going to uh, take it off, let it start to cool down a little bit, moisture's already um, you know, released into it, helping it puff up and cook. So it's it's super low maintenance. Uh, super low maintenance. Rock on, Matt. Aaron's, oh my god. <laughs> it's a good job. Yeah. Why does Nightbot have so much power? Basically, Nightbot is there for rando people that come in and start shooting random links in the chat. You know, porn, porn, all sorts of disgusting stuff. Um, racism, all people spamming all caps, just little things like that. It's just trying to keep the chat as pure and as clean as possible because I've seen some disgusting things pop up. Don't we say moisture? You like when I say moist? Alright. Just pan soaking a little bit, get the little bits out a little bit easier. Alright, so we got. We got our orange zest, we got our garlic for the garlic bread. We're gonna let the butter continue to get a little bit warm. Uh, we're gonna get our parsley chopped up. So let's go ahead and get the parsley, guys. All right, what am I grabbing? Uh, that's gonna be the cilantro. All right, we got Nice fresh, nice fresh batch of uh, Italian parsley. I always do Italian parsley. I'm not so into the puffy parsley. Not my thing. Everyone has their preference. Poor system. What is disgusting? Well, trust me. It's been some really vulgar things that I've I've seen in a chat without restrictions. So we're gonna keep that away. Keep that away from the stream. All right, so just gonna go ahead and give this a nice little chop. Nothing crazy. It's just gonna get mixed in the couscous. Don't need much. That should be fine. I always save the reserve, save the parsley stems. Um, if you guys ever make your own stocks or anything at home, parsley stems are one of the good flavor uh, profiles you can. Throw it in there, adds like a nice earthiness, nice flavor to your stock, like everything else throw in there. Let's get the parsley minced up. I hope the sound of the cutting board, guys, let me know if it's a little too loud. We did make some adjustments to the mic as far as the cutting board, so I hope that it uh, isn't too loud. I know people that were listening through headphones or... Um, like loud speakers that have a lot of bass. I know it was a little too intense last time I heard. So hopefully that's not the case this time for you guys. If it is, please let me know. We'll keep working on it still. You know, trial and error process. Uh, Dead Element came through with the follow. Thank you very much, Dead Element. Appreciate it very much. It's awesome. Thank you. All right. So, we got our parsley all set up. One sec, gotta check one thing, guys. 
Okay, perfect. We're good on that. Alright, I see you. Check one thing with the streamlabs, make sure everything was refreshing, right? So we got our parsley all chopped up, all minced up, nice and small. Just how we need it for the, uh, the couscous. Food's so good, they named it twice. I'll go ahead, wash my hands and my knife off. Keep it sanitary in this house, you know what I'm saying? Gluten free? <laughs> so such a limitation. <laughs> what size is my cutting board? This right here? Uh looking at like a about a foot and a half, maybe two footer. Nothing big. It's like my perfect stationary little board. I got, you know, a lot of other medium to smaller size ones. This is like my main one. I'll pull those out and put it on top when I need it. But uh, this is my main one. I like this one. I do got this really badass one I was showing off earlier that my dad gave to me. My mom had a good idea of putting it up in the back. Everyone to see it does say Knepa on there. Personally ingrained. Got it as a present for my pops. Pretty cool. Miss Andrew Andrew's Meats. What? Excuse me? I'm almost using emojis. I'm living in fear of, <laughs> of Nightbot. I love it. All right, guys. Let's get this uh, chicken taken out. We're going to go ahead and stir it, and we're going to add our olives. Looking good. Looking real, real, real good. Okay. We're going to give that a little stir. Just make sure the lemons are mixed in there nicely. The chicken's all, you know, submerged, looking good. Got a lot of liquid in there. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Now, usually I'll do about like a cup of green olives. Love me some olives. Oh my gosh. So good do it on my towel. So much liquid comes out of these babies. I can straight up drink olive juice, I think. So delicious. So for this dish, go ahead and put like a little bit more. So, you know, a nice hefty handful of olives, right? Just to add that that sourness. Might even add a little bit more. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit more in there. So there are green olives, right? So you're gonna throw those in there. No, there is not a pit in the olives. I got unpitted olives. And trying to eat my uh, my meal like sunflower seeds. No thank you. So just gonna make sure those are incorporated in there, mix them in, get them all dispersed in there. Okay. Oh, that's going right back in the oven, guys, to finish up. Probably in the next 20 minutes or so, that'll be ready. Our couscous. The couscous is done sitting, chilling. Okay. Try it out. Yep, looks good. Couscous solidifies a lot, right? Almost like in clumps. So what I do is at the end, well, I'll even do it right now, is I'm gonna add a little bit of butter in there and then I use a fork and just kind of toss it and fluff it up because it, it tends to stick to each other so you gotta fork it up kind of separate it out a little bit it, it loves to stick uh, it's it's so weird so I'm just gonna fluff it up a little bit real quick kind of break up the, the larger chunks right just fluff it up You guys get in here with it. Just letting all this steam out. I don't want it to continue to keep cooking too much. Just gonna let it chill. 
get this much of the steam out from the bottom as we can. Fluff it up. All right. Throw a little bit of OVO in there. A little OVO makes everything better. So a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter. We'll season it later when we add everything else. The uh, oil is also going to help it from clumping up. Um, you know when your pasta sticks, when you pull it out, uh, if you toss it in oil, it won't. So same kind of deal with this. Just toss in a little bit of oil. It's going to help keep it uh, liquidated, help keep it separate, not cause these huge ass clumps like was happening before. All right, so that's done. We're just going to let that chill on the side. Uh, like I said, I'll toast it up before we get started with the plating. I made rice and chicken for dinner. I feel like a failure. I'll take a PB&J any day. <laughs> I love it. I was going to have mac and cheese before this. Pork it up. You know what it is, Miss Mars McCoy. Dead element. Not a big fan of mac and cheese. No? It's not everyone's thing. Try spamming real quick. <laughs> Why couscous, not rice? I eat rice all the time, right? It's like a nice little switch up. Couscous is cool. It's very low maintenance, very easy to use, very easy to cook. Um, I, I just like to switch it up. I'm not a quinoa guy, not really at all. So rice and couscous. And uh, couscous, like rice, it absorbs moisture. It's really good with like braises, like you serve it on noodles or you know some sort of starch. Uh, couscous is great for that. Really, it, it absorbs all that liquid. It's it's amazing. All that flavor, and it's yeah, it's healthier. 100% healthier. Rob, couscous so good. They they named the food twice. It's a power food. It is. Grew up poor on mac and cheese and steamed cabbage. Don't touch either. Well, that'll do it for you, man. You eat something a lot like that, it's gonna do it. It's my fourth day this week having pasta. <laughs> Trying to teach my dude the chicken tagine is Moroccan and couscous is Moroccan. Yeah, uh, chicken tagine is African, Moroccan, that entire area up there um, is, you know, has that African, Moroccan vibe. The spices, the veggies, the proteins they use, um, the wheat and barley, like back in the day they would use there. All, you know, couscous and rice and those things, they date back a long time ago. So things that are in that area that are that are there for them, they're gonna use it. And couscous is one of those things, which is why I was taught to use couscous in culinary school when I made it as well. So it's just kind of those, one of those things that was stuck. Uh, we had a chicken lemon couscous dish at Cheesecake, it was pretty good. Yeah, it sounds really good. Anything with lemon and chicken, dog, it's really good. All right, guys, so where are we at? We got couscous ready to go. We got the ingredients to toss in there. Uh, we'll do that in a little bit with some butter. Um, we got garlic ready to get ready, and we'll get the salad ready while the chicken finishes up, guys. So let's get the garlic real. We got a nice, nice loaf of uh, fresh baked French bread. That's what I like doing my uh, my garlic breads with. French bread's my favorite. I do like a good sourdough loaf, Italian roll. They're all good. Um, gonna get my bread knife here. For my bread knife, I'm gonna use my global. It's one of my babies. Super, super sharp. You see the claws on these guys, right? It's like your baby mama, these claws, the way they'd be snatching onto you, right? These things are super sharp. Do not touch and cut your finger on these. Serrated knives, you know, bread knives, whatever you want to call it. These are no joke, those things are sharp, and especially a global like this. All right, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna slice our loaf. Try to get right down the pipe. Perfect, that shit perfect. See, nice and even on each side, okay. We got our loaves. I got me some butter that's been sitting out at room temp. I'm gonna go ahead and nuke it. Um, actually, I don't even need to nuke it. It's nice and ready to go to spread. I set this out maybe an hour before the stream, to be honest, and uh, it's uh, it's fine. I think the heat in the room is good. 
God damn it, Drew. Couscous just made me thinking cream of wheat. Oh, cream of wheat's kind of weird. I'm an oatmeal guy, but cream of wheat, not so much. I fully endorse you using all my pictures of your football game from Santa. You're helping out big time. Yeah, Gmo's, Gmo's uh, not having a good time on that Bumble game, as far as I know. But he's too scared of getting catfish. You should see the research this guy does on these on these chicks. It's unbelievable. Love it. All right, guys. So I got butter, right? Just gonna go ahead and spread the butter across the loaf. Everything's better with a little bit of butter. Extra butter. So we're just gonna aggressively, very aggressively, rub this baby down with some butter. You can't have garlic bread without garlic, and you can't have garlic bread without butter. Two, uh, two main things when you're doing garlic bread. Just gonna kind of make sure, you know, it's gonna melt and it's gonna it's gonna kind of do its thing in the oven. So just make sure that it's you know pretty much on every part of the bread and then let it let it do its thing in the oven, right? We got one chicken po boy. I even throw a. Some prime ass picks for a price, I love it. I'm not sure that's room hot, Drew. Oh, it's perfectly room temp. Do not touch your knife, your knife show <laughs> the touch, exactly. <laughs> you can't trust filters, yeah. Or those angles, man. Nolan style bread, mmm. Let me some New Orleans. New Orleans food. All right, so, spread our butter out. Alright, just nice and evenly. No big deal, guys, like I said. It's gonna melt in the oven. It's gonna kinda spread out, do its thing. You just wanna get it on there. The goal of the butter is you, you know, you want enough butter on there to absorb into the bread and kind of go down into the loaf. You don't want, you know, like a tiny little crust layer at the top. That's fine, but if you're really trying to achieve like a really good garlicky, buttery, deliciousness taste, then you're gonna got then you gotta put a you know decent amount of butter on there and really let it soak once it starts cooking. Super important. Alright, so we got our butter applied, looking good, looking good. Alright. Butter in there. Garrett can't stir on hand an independent woman like <laughs> Melissa and Gmo are the same room. This is awkward. I love it. Alright. So we got our bread, all right? Let me get a sheet for these babies. Ugh. All right, so we got our cooking sheet. Throw my bread on there. All right. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my garlic. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on there. Some fresh chopped garlic. Use my hands, get a little bit messy in there. Kind of press it in. Make sure it's pretty evenly distributed amongst the the loaf of bread, you know. Have it all over, you know, one it in one spot. Okay, work on this other guy. I kind of like put it in my hand and then I just like kind of let it fall out as I, as I go along the bread. There's no technique to this, it's just kind of how you do it, you know what I'm saying? If I was working in somewhere else, I wouldn't be using my hands like this. But this is some home cooked meal for the fam. Everything's good. I clean. I sanitize. There ain't no dirt on these hands. We look. We're good. All right, guys. So we got our garlic applied. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. My mint shrimps too. Oh, mint shrimps though. Mm, I love me some shrimp. A man buttering his bread. You know what I'm saying? Jamin, I see you joining the channel. Thanks for stopping by, James. It says the guy who's eating cabbage his whole life. I love it. All right. So lastly, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, my Italian seasoning. I got my Italian herb seasoning. Um, this is really really good on garlic bread. Learned this at my last cooking job at North Ranch. A little Italian seasoning, a little bit of uh, parsley. 
So we got our, our dry Italian down. A little bit of fresh parsley. Nice little color. Nice vibrant green. You know I like them greens, boy. Alright. Alright, so we got our, our garlic bread ready to go. We're going to let this sit. We're going to let this chill. I'm going to pop it in. You know, takes about seven, eight minutes or so. So, when I take the, uh, the chicken out to kind of to pull it out to like reduce the sauce, that's why I'm going to throw the garlic bread in. Alright, we got our seasoning. Alright, so let's get some of this mess off the board. We got our, our parsley there. All right, keep that parsley because that's going into um, it's going into the couscous. A bench scraper. I love the activeness in the chat, guys. Seriously, I love it. I love it. I love it. This garlic bread is my favorite part. Right? It smells good. Is that oregano or like a mix? It's Italian. Uh, let me let me see if it says what's on it. Uh. Oregano, marjoram, thyme, basil, rosemary, and sage, all dry. I have every one of those ingredients over there. Um, but, you know, instead of taking the time to put together a spice mix, you know, bought it. I can make it if I want, but it's already portioned perfectly how I want it. I love that seasoning. I like it for a lot of Italian dishes. When I make marinara sauce, I do put a lot of that herb on my, um, on my veggies when I'm cooking those down before the sauce. I'll let you, you know, we'll, we'll get into that soon enough. We'll, we'll do the, mar the homemade, you know, marinara for you guys. I, I made a lot of marinara sauce back at the country club, so I got plenty of practice with that. Now you got a stalker. <laughs> so that I hope that answers your, your question, Dead Element. Pan fried garlic, dude? Yeah, dude, you know how it is. If you like, you can dip the bread in the bread. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, eating everything together. Uh, 34 viewers, I think that's a record. No, Matt, it's not a record. Uh, clearly, you don't pay attention well. It is a lot. Thanks, all 34 people in here. Last week, we hit a peak of 49 viewers at one point, and we were averaging about 44 to 45. Um, every week's going to be different. I'm grateful for every one of you that are in here. Numbers don't mean anything to me. I'm doing this for you guys, so thank you again for stopping by. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm doing a really basic salad just as a side dish, you know, fill up the tummies a little bit more. Uh, two of my favorite things that I always add into a salad, which I'm just going to get ready for you guys right now. Actually, it's going to be three things. So these little baby gem, vintage gems, these are some of my favorite things in the world. I eat these like candy. Heirloom tomatoes. A lot of you guys I know, especially Bobby, aren't tomato guys. And uh, I highly recommend to start getting into tomato or something that is, you know, it's very different. These are very sweet, um, very different. I, I, I literally eat them like candy. You cannot go wrong with these. These make a huge, 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 huge difference in your salads. I'm telling you. Ridiculously good. Um... Well, I like to cook. Besides, the wife could burn a bowl of Fruit Loops. <laughs> Dead element. That is hilarious, brother. That's hilarious. Well, I hope I can teach you a couple things. Where's Jake? Jake's a horrible friend. We're not going to get into Jake, right? Bad friend, dude. Bad friend. I was wondering why Jake... I know. I, I, I miss Jakey, too. I wish he was in here. The kids used to beg me to cook dinner. <laughs> I hear you. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going uh, to have these tomatoes up. I'm going to go ahead and grab my... Uh, this is a veggie knife, right? My, one of my globals. It's a little smaller. Um, I like using these. I have a smaller one too. Um, we're just gonna use this one. I like the, the blade on this one. It cuts, it's, it's really sharp, so. We're gonna go ahead and uh, slice through these bad boys. Um, you know, if you don't have a sharp knife, I recommend just kind of starting by going down into the tomato, right? Hold it on each side and then back. And it kind of pulls through. 
Um, you kind of need a sharp uh, knife to get to this tomato. Wow, this blade is a lot more dull than I thought. Maybe it's my small one that is the sharper one. We'll see. Maybe I was a little confused. I haven't gotten these things sharpened or sharpened them myself in a while. So let's hone that up. Maybe this is the sharper one. See how it goes through. Oh, yeah. My bad. I mixed them up. So down and back. See? Easy. Down, back. Yeah, this one's a hundred thousand times sharper. I uh, definitely confused the two. Definitely. That one's a little soft. I kind of avoid the soft ones. Man, I used to spend hours on end cutting hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of these things for salads, for weddings and stuff like that, for the pre for the pre uh, pre meals. My lord, it's bringing back memories. Just intensive, long, repetitive labor for no money. All right. So get these babies sliced up. We're gonna set them aside. Whoa. That's a little, a little weird. Jake's probably somewhere contemplating. <laughs> Complaining? Yeah, 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 for sure. He's 100% watching Fast and the Furious. Well, you know he knows every word to that. Smaller ones are better for precision? Absolutely, Austin. You know this thing. You're in the business. Can we see a view of the chicken? Chicken's in the oven. Uh, you don't want to keep taking the chicken out of the oven, Maddie. Um, what's going to happen is it's it's uh, it's not going to cook as fast as it needs to, right? You're going to, um, you know, interrupt the cooking process. At this point, I've already taken it out once. Um, once was enough. Get it mixed up. Get it stirred. You want to keep it in the oven. You really want to cook it as long as you can. Uh, the more the more time you spend cooking it, the more tender the chicken's going to come out, and that's the goal. Um, so. We will take the chicken out probably in the next 10 minutes, get ready to plate up, uh, reduce the sauce down. Can we see a view of the chicken? I want to see the garlic bread again. You want to see that G bread? All right, give me one sec. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Oh my God. Let me... All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the tomatoes in the bowl where the salad's gonna go a little later, all right? Ah, oh, all this, I forgot. The tomato seeds, the liquid all over the cutting board, make sure you clean that up. All right, so tomatoes are in the bowl. Couscous cooled down quite a bit. Just gonna cover it up to keep the residual heat that's in there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, and peel up the cucumber. You can do cool things with cucumbers. You can do like a stripe peel. So you did like one and I'll leave a little bit in the middle right there. Do like a like a zebra stripe type of peel, right? Go right down the pipe. So now you got like these, so when you cut it, God, this cucumber is, feels weird. All right. So then this way for the salad, I like to do, with the smaller cucumbers, I'll do circle cuts. Um, for the larger cucumber, right, um, I'll slice down the center. I'll core out the seeds sometimes, just depends. I don't really mind them, but if it's for other people, I will. And then I'll, I'll cut it down the middle, I'll cut one more time, and then I'll slice on the side and it'll make like a little L. But for these, we're just gonna go, uh, just gonna go right down. All right, we got our cucumber chop. That's gonna go in the bowl for the salad. We got our tomato and our cucumber. Um, and next is the red onion, which I put over here. Red onion is, um, uh oh, my transitions aren't working. Uh, red onion is one of my favorite ingredients for a salad. I love the kick of the red onion. Not too much, not too little. That'd be just the right amount. All right. I'm down with salmonella. <laughs> did you just brown the brown the chicken for you? Dead element. Yeah. So basically, what I did is I seasoned the chicken. All right. I um, it will be on the YouTube by the way tomorrow if you want to you to you know be able to watch watch it. So basically, I browned the chicken. Right. Got a nice crust on it. Took it off 
in the pan, added some onions, some garlic, some uh, cooked it down, added a little bit of tomato paste, um, added my chicken stock, a little fresh thyme, let it reduce down a little bit, threw the chicken back in it, threw it in the oven. Took it out after 10 minutes, threw, uh, oh sorry, put some preserved lemons on top, which is like the main ingredient in this dish. Uh, put the preserved lemons on top right before you're gonna throw it in. You don't want them to still be a little bit of tender in the bite. Uh, put it in, take it out 10 minutes later, make sure you stir it, added some green olives, and then threw it back in. Let it go, okay? Uh, chicken, not salmon. I got you on the big screen. The wife says, what is that? I said cooking, you should really watch. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Um, pretty onion. It is a pretty onion. So I love salads. Not with onion. Love sautéed onions. Yeah, you know, raw, sautéed, two completely different flavor profiles. Um, all right. So for the onion, there's two different cuts. Cutting along the onion at a slice this way is a sauté cut in French technique. Cutting it now this way is called a salad cut. Um... The two are a little different. That's just how I was taught. Um, they do look a little bit different, but not much. Uh, but yeah, so those are the two cuts for you guys. So like I said, this way, slice, sauteing, this way is for salad. So we don't need too much onion, you know, just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, I got them all kind of frying out right here. I'm gonna give them a slice there. And a slice there. So now you don't got too big. Uh, we'll go one more. Go. So now we don't got too big to chunks. We got nice size uh, strings. Go ahead, toss the onion in the bowl. All right. So we got our ingredients for the salad all tossed together. We'll throw them together with some greens and then um, they'll be able to do their dressing on the side. I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, you guys want to get panned in on the garlic bread? The garlic bread's sitting on the oven right now. Um, what is going on right now? None of my transitions are working. Sorry, guys. All right, so garlic bread's going to sitting on top of the oven. Um, basically, right now, the butter, because of the heat of the oven, is kind of melting and spreading out everywhere. So it's kind of doing its own job. Uh, spreading out a little bit more, heating it up a little bit, letting that butter that's melting soak in to the bread, uh, which is just going to further along make the flavor better. So does Drew. Man, butter's bread. Toss his salad. <laughs> is this legal? You know a dead element. <laughs> Matt and Bobby going at it. So, let me go ahead. these onions in a bag for later. Always save your leftovers. You can use these in anything. We're going to keep these. Put these babies in the fridge. Okay, get our couscous thrown together. Alright. Okay. So we got our couscous, guys. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to throw a little bit of butter in there. We're gonna go ahead and throw our parsley, a little bit of fresh parsley in there. I'm gonna mix it in. We're just gonna start with a little bit of orange zest. Not too much. Like I said, you can add more later. First, uh, make sure you, you taste it. So we're gonna go ahead and fork that around. Let everything kind of mix together. If you got clumps in there, just go ahead and get it out with the fork. If there's clumps of uh, in there because the butter, the butter should be melting in. It's still pretty warm. It'll melt in over time. So go ahead and give that a nice toss. I can already see I am going to need a little bit of, uh, more thyme parsley. Throw that on.
You got some clumps in there. You get out. Stuff's so weird how it clumps up like that, but it's direct. Comes out with, with the butter over time. Get them out. Alright. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to taste this. See how it's doing. Probably needs a little bit more butter. I know that. I'm going to throw some butter on top. I'm going to throw a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Gotta have that pepper, a little bit more salt. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more thing of butter. I'm gonna throw this in the oven just for a second to let the butter melt, and then I'm gonna just to continue to toss it together. Oh my god, that chicken smells unbelievable, guys. Holy cow. Clean up the station real quick. Get a couple things out of the way that I'm not going to be needing anymore. Alright guys, thanks for bearing with me, we're almost there, we're almost there. So we're pretty cleaned up for the most part. Get all this out of the way. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chicken out. We are gonna remove the chicken from the sauce. We're gonna start cooking the sauce down itself, all right? We're gonna toss the garlic bread in the oven, get that cracking. Where's the cake mixer? Yeah, I do have a mixer throwing away. I don't, I don't need that right now. It's inside my island. Best thing about chicken is it's fast to make but hard to screw up. It's very true. Unless you overcook it into rubber. Alright, so. Oh yeah. Chicken looks amazing. Get our bread in there. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Amazing, 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 amazing. So, I'm just gonna get a, an, another board, uh, a little pan. So I can take the chicken out, all right? Go back in for you guys so you can see it. So the chicken, super tender. I pretty much could break it in half with this tongue if I wanted. Still has that nice crust, right? Created that super, super dark crust on there. So we're gonna pull it out piece by piece. Very tender. I can almost shred it, it's so tender. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, it's just falling apart, guys, I love it. Okay, get every piece out. All right. Got all the little chunks. One more little slice right there. Time's already done its job, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull any strings of time I see in there out. All right, so now we got this delicious sauce right here. We're gonna go ahead, turn on the stove on high, and we're gonna let that baby reduce down into a delicious sauce. In the meantime, we got our couscous we're about to take out, get the butter going, and we got our garlic bread in the oven. All right, we got our couscous. Very hot. Very, very hot. Toast it up a little bit. Now we got the butter 
just doing its job now. Butter's melting up real, real nice in there. They kind of toasted up the little, um, the little pods. So they're going to have a nice little bite to it after sitting there. We're going to go ahead and taste that in a split second. A couple of these clumps that are still being a little annoying. All right, so we're going to go ahead and taste that. Okay. A little salt. A little pep. Definitely some more butter. Rest of the butter in there. A little more orange zest. A little more parsley. Mix that up. I already used that pork. As you guys see, sauce is starting to reduce down. We're gonna let that go. All right, we got the couscous being tossed. We got all our all our goodies in here. We got our butter, we got orange zest, we got a fresh chopped Italian parsley, we got salt, we got pepper. Make sure this is uh, seasoned to taste correctly. I did add a little bit extra of everything. I think it needed just a little bit more. Taste that. You're shooting good. Shooting perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, sauce is going. We really, 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 really want that to reduce. Get nice and thick. Super, super concentrated. Darth Raider, what's going on? Oh, Cornette, holy cow, brother. It's been a long ass time. What's going on, man? How you been, dude? Holy shit. Reverbs Gaming, a little bit of pepper puts in the load. <laughs> Did I mention that I was a professional taster, taster to send me your dish? Oh yeah, professional taster, huh? Justin is going to be there for any leftovers. <laughs> oh shit. I bet the couscous is a great start for some stuffed eggplant. Hey, be a great idea. Mushroom, eggplant, uh, stuffed roasted bell peppers. Why thighs over breasts in this recipe? Well, personally, I'm a thigh guy. You know what I'm saying? Thick thighs. Like, uh, thighs are dark meat, right? Um, interesting fact, poultry, any bird, for instance, wherever they use the most of their body, so wings, legs, movement, right? Uh, wings, constant muscle, those are gonna be dark meat due to all the activity. The more activity in that muscle, the darker it gets. Um, dark meat always tastes better, you know what I'm saying? So, dark meat for me, always with chicken. Uh, unless I want a chicken breast, but Stick with the dark meat, a lot more flavor. Some people don't like it, some people prefer white meat. No big deal, you can do it with white meat. It's not a big thing. Um, but I just I just prefer the, the thighs. They're just delicious, perfect. They get tender, just amazing flavor in them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, been good, brother, this is dope. Hey, thanks, man, I appreciate it. And thanks for stopping by, man. It's gonna be every Tuesday and Thursday. Hope to see you in here again. It's been a minute, Cornette. Don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more about breasts. Love that dark meat. Joe! Joe just came in. Perfect timing, man. Alright, so sauce is going. Garlic bread going. Garlic bread's crisping up real nice. Sauce. Alright, couscous. We're going to let the couscous sit in the oven, just kind of stay warm while the garlic bread goes. Darth Raider is followed. Thank you very much for the follow, Cornette. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for the support. I feel so discriminated against. <laughs> Alright. Look at this chicken, guys. Watch this. You could take this chicken, right? I could, I could literally shred it by hand. Look at that. 
just falls apart. That's what a braise does for you, right? Mm. Oh my God. Perfect. Perfect, baby. You must, you must love it with the crooked hat. <laughs> Joe, how you doing tonight, brother? I saw you come in. Thanks for stopping by. You know Garrett's gonna get jealous. That's why he's here, he wanted that dark meat. Danielle Thomas, how you doing, girl? Thanks for stopping by, appreciate it. I don't know how to spell whatever that is. <laughs> All right. We got our salad, some, uh, some mixed romaine and iceberg greens, you know what I'm saying? Not going crazy with the salad tonight. We'll do some salad streams for, for the healthy streams. I got some really good salad recipes. Like real salad, right? Not like this stuff, that I, like these mixed greens I'm about to use. We'll, we'll put together some real, real salad. Some that good stuff. You know, candy walnuts, toasted cashews, all sorts of goodies, right? For this, we're just gonna toss all our ingredients together. One important thing that most people never do to their salads is season it. Make sure you always season the salad. Make sure we get those cucumbers and those tomatoes and those onions all, all dispersed correctly. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Pepper is uh, my favorite ingredient in the world. It makes everything better, especially tomatoes. Um, where's my rag? Yum, Scott. Toast hot stuffing. What's your favorite salad dressing? Favorite salad dressing is a uh, balsamic based Italian. I am Italian. So my Nanu and Nana always have that bomb Italian dressing at dinner. Uh, I've always been a fan of it and I do love the pungent acidity from um, from the uh, the balsamic itself. It's amazing. So yeah, man, that's, those are my go-tos right there. All right, salad's good to go. I'm going to throw it in the fridge, let it stay crisp. Let them leave the green stay crisp. We're going to shoot over here. Garlic bread's coming out nice. Sauce is reduced a lot. We're getting there. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going I'm to throw the chicken back in during the rest of the reduction phase. Okay. Let them reheat, re-soak, absorb some of that liquid up. Oh man, this chicken is so tender, I can't even. Got me feeling a certain type of way. Alright, got the chicken going in. Some of this thyme out of there. Right, chicken's in, dish is reducing. Gonna let it go a little longer. Right, we're just gonna let that go a little bit longer. Let the garlic bread kind of finish up. Let's see where we're at with that. We're getting. Crispy bottoms, getting hot, good. Nice toasty on the top. What I'm gonna do is, I want a little bit more toastiness on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray. Love Italian, we gotta make higher your subscription to watch Drew eat. <laughs> I like that. I love cooking chicken and Italian dressing, it's very delicious. Stove top cooking in Italian. I mar Yeah, marinade, whatever, same kind of deal. You could even finish it in it. I'm thinking a pasta dish soon. Lasagna. We can do lasagna with mom. Mom makes a great lasagna. We can do a family one of those too. Um, we're definitely going to do pasta, guys. I'm a big, uh, big pasta guy. I do love me some uh, some fresh made pasta. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit of oil on this. Throw it back in the oven. Let it finish up. I want it to get a little bit more crispy brown, so I'm just going to add a little bit more oil on there. Let it go. Okay. Couscous. Got it. Oh yeah. Perfect. 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 We got the uh, toasted couscous now. I can. I can. 
I can just feel how much toastier this is. This is perfect. So now that I got the couscous heated up and ready to serve, all I'm doing is I'm grabbing it, putting it over here, towel on top, reserve that extra hot heat, and we're 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 getting ready to plate up, guys. We're ready, we're getting ready to do this. So stick around. We got this coming up real real shortly. Go back to this for you guys. Oh yeah. Coming together very 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 nicely. Coming out great, guys. Really, really, really good. Your mom makes lasagna? No, she's not available. <laughs> uh, yeah, she makes great lasagna. We just started serving pappardelle. I love pappardelle. It's one of my favorite kinds to make. Why spray oil? Um, applying any oil or fat like butter, that's how you get the uh, golden, you know, golden top on your on your bread or whatever. You know, when you toast it with butter or on a flat top. You gotta put fat on it to, in order to get it or else it's just gonna burn. It's not gonna caramelize up like that. You've been married 26 years and you've never been made lasagna. Well, I'm sorry for that. Cooks the top faster, exactly high weight. She makes a great lasagna, yes she does. Maybe it's a message from God. Sue's lasagna is the bomb. The bomb.com. All right guys, we're getting close. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get the uh, the couscous down on a platter, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place the chicken. Pour a little bit of sauce over it. Uh, garlic bread will be ready to go right after that. We're gonna chop it up. We're gonna get the salad going. We're gonna show you guys where we're at with that. We are gonna top it and garnish it with some fresh cilantro. So I have some of that. And I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I like to do with this dish. Mama guest episode? Absolutely. we got Pops coming up in Colorado in a week. Then we're going to get Moms in one. Alright. So, what I'm about to do is, I'm about to get this plated up. Alright guys? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm only gonna plate up the first one for you guys. So we're gonna make it pretty, show you guys how to plate the dish up. After that, once we get done, toned down, I'm gonna have everyone come down and they can go ahead and get their dish. So basically what we're gonna do here is, I like to take the plate and before I put anything down, I'm gonna go ahead, because I love the tang, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lemon juice down. I'm just gonna kinda rub it in with my lemon, right? We got our lemon juice there. We need mama, yeah. Cheese is, cheese is lasagna, must know. Well, I guess you'll find out when the episode comes around, won't ya? All right, so we got our plate down, right? So what we're gonna do is, let's check this garlic, bro, in case it goes a little faster than I want it. Perfect. Alright. Perfect, baby, perfect. Garlic bread's ready to go. Gonna let that chill. Right. Chicken's off. I turned the heat off. We're just gonna let it kind of sit, soak in all the juices. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, like I did, I put the lemon juice down, right? Go ahead and grab our couscous. Mix together. We're gonna plate some couscous. Now we got orange zest, we got Italian parsley, we got salt, we got pepper. Smelling good, looking good, all right? Next, 
We're going to take our stew. I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice chunk of chicken, guys. I'm going to lay that on top. Okay. Put our chicken down. Okay. Give me one sec. Just got to find my ladle. I didn't think about taking that out. There it is. All right. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and use a ladle, and I'm gonna ladle the sauce on top, all right? Fish with Sam really making me this hungry again. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. So we got, we got our lemon down, we got our couscous down, right? We got our chicken down. Let's go ahead and put the sauce down. All right, so. We're gonna take our sauce, ladle down, pour it over the top. Let the quinoa kind of absorb it. Okay. Now, I also wanna get some olives out of there. Get a couple olives. Let them kind of fall off, do their thing. We got plenty of onions in there. Plenty of garlic, plenty of veg. Hit it one more time with that one time, okay? Perfect. Right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish it with some fresh cilantro, okay? So I pull it off the stem. Go ahead and throw a little bit of that on there. Some sprigs of cilantro. Some fresh cilantro. Right? So, we got our cilantro dropped. We got our couscous. We got our sauce. We got our chicken, right? We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna grab a piece of garlic bread because you're gonna wanna dip this in that. I got my garlic bread. My serrated again for cutting bread. Go ahead. Give this a little, little touch like that. A little bit of fresh Italian parsley on that. And voila, guys. We got our chicken tagine over a orange zested Italian fresh Italian chopped parsley toss with butter and the couscous we got our sauce our chicken some fresh cilantro on top to complement our garlic bread we're looking good guys looking good even gonna throw a little bit more sauce in this bad boy on everything Just one more time for everything Ooh. And that, cuz, is the chicken tagine for the night. Uh, it does look a lot better in person, of course. Through the cameras, it's kind of hard to see, guys, but I hope you guys got a, a nice, clear view. Go pan back into this bad boy. So, we got our dish, guys. We're going to be doing salad on the side. Real simple, real simple. Catch up with you guys real quick. Looks amazing. Thank you very much. The bread in that sauce. Oh, the bread's going to be killer in that sauce. Helen Keller did the food dish now. <laughs> I just ate this. Make me hungry all over again. I love it. It's my job. Can't ever have too much sauce. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever. Looks so good. Never too much sauce. I agree. I agree. Sorry, Max. I messed up. Looks bomb as hell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Seriously, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. I cannot thank you guys enough. We're at episode three. It's only been, what, a week and uh, not even a full week. It hasn't even been a full week. We've done three episodes. Uh, the growth, the support's incredible. Thanks again, guys. We got another episode coming on Tuesday. So, you know, we're taking a weekend off. We're going to uh, get back at it on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, I will release tomorrow or the next day what Tuesday's dish will be. Um, I am taking requests. Hit the Twitter, hit the Facebook, leave comments on YouTube, wherever. 
Um, let me know what you guys want. We'll throw a dish in for the viewers anytime. Um, all my peoples around the town, if you want to be a taste tester, let me know. We can schedule an episode. We can get shit going. You know what I mean? Here for you guys. Jenny's anxious for some of Drew's cooking. You know it's coming soon. I'm going to make love play food. I love it. Thank you guys again. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jalapeno Jacks. I like, I'm a Moroccan line cook that work in, in a Magbarian restaurant and your meal isn't following the rules. Well, Jalapeno Jacks, this is an Americanized Drew, Cousin Drew customized version of my chicken tajin. Uh, my chicken tajin is amazing. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys give this recipe a try out anytime. Uh, I got the recipe on here. We will have recipes uploaded. Um, let me guys know. I can always send you guys measurements. Whatever you need to know, I'm here to help, guys. Seriously, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> you guys are awesome. I love it. I love it. Now, jalapeno, it's all good, brother. There's many different takes on the dish. Um, you know, everyone's got their own way of creating it. Many, plenty of chefs out there do it their own way. Let's not hate. Let's not. Let's not be. Let's be, be all crazy, guys. It's all good. It's all good. Be nice, guys. Be nice. Come on. He's just giving his uh, his opinion. Everyone's opinion matters. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, again, thanks, guys. Seriously, thanks again. Give you guys a dish one more time. We got our dish. I got people waiting in another room to get going. Um, so yeah, like I said, hit me up. And again, guys. If you haven't followed the page, up there, somewhere up here, somewhere, there's a heart, hit the follow. There's a subscription button if you like your time, you want to subscribe, get your emote. Later on down the line for you subs, I'm going to have full-blown recipe page books ready for you guys, pictures, whatever you want. Um, we're going to slowly be working on it. Like I said, it's a trial and error process. We're slowly getting things going, uh, picking up real quick. Um, Shouts out to everybody that stopped by tonight, uh, every single one of you. Rachel, Max, Sam, Gmo, my sister, Nathan, my dad, my mom, my cousins, Shannon, Kaylee, thank you so much, girl, for the donation. Thank you for stopping by for your first uh, time watching the episode. Um, Dead Element, Alex Hyoid, Ryan Cornett, Danielle, Justin, um, other Justin, Ricky, everybody, everybody that came by tonight. Seriously, thank you so much. We'll be back at it again. Uh, thanks again for stopping by Rachel. I love you miss you. Thank you again for stopping by limping lemon I just got here. I missed everything my brother go ahead and give it a follow brother uh, It'll be on YouTube on cousin drew 1339's YouTube. I'll have it uploaded later tonight after the stream I'm gonna get going. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, here's the dish for the night We did a chicken to to heat tagine topped with fresh cilantro some garlic bread. And we're gonna have a salad on the side um, I'm sorry you you missed the episode brother Thanks for stopping by. Like I said, it is uploaded. Um, Rob, thank you very much. Holly, the